never thought that Sorry. I would be making a video about uh, we could have done to prevent this. Like it was random. Hey guys. You probably already know this, but I'm Ashley. I'm James. And we are Who's Worked Up? This last three weeks? Yeah, the last three weeks, sorry. We've been a little bit absent because um, if you've seen my last dentist video, um, I showed a clip with my dog Hemi and me. And um, last Sunday, can you stop please moving? You're like jiggling me. Um, so Sunday, October 21st, um, I was working a breaker shift and which means it was only like three hours. Um, at the end of my shift, uh, I got a call from James, um, which said that Hemi was in the hospital. His back legs weren't working. Um, Sorry if this video is a little bit wonky and raw wonky? and un unedited. Oh. You, you're wonky. That's what's wonky. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, I got a call that Hemi couldn't use his back legs um, from James. Um, <clears throat> so um, I immediately left work and went to uh, VCA Animal Hospital, which is the animal hospital that... Um, we take Hemi to, um, we've taken him to the, them before because he, um, got a piece of, uh, rawhide stuck in his throat. We've actually stopped using rawhide since then, um, but he had a piece of rawhide stuck in his throat, so we went to VCA once before, um, but this time, um, when we went, I was still in uniform, uh, that's how, like, crazy this entire thing was. Um, <clears throat> and it turns out that Hemi was diagnosed with, um, IVDD, which is called, which is, um, invertebral disc disease. Um, essentially the, um, a disc in his back. yeah, like it's like a herniated disc. Like they said that it was like a jelly filled donut, like the jelly had come out and yeah, so um, Hemi was in the hospital for, what, two days? Yeah. The only reason he was in there for two days is because the first day they were thinking of giving him surgery. And, um, if he didn't take ten steps, and he took eight. And we were like, just give him one more day, give him one more day. It was yeah. a really expensive surgery. It was like seven thousand dollars, and that's not including the MRA, which is another two thousand dollars. So uh, we were looking at nine thousand dollars for this entire surgery yeah. process. And so we're just like, just give it another day. He'll be if he gets a little better, we'll take him home. If he doesn't, we'll do the surgery probably or other options. Yeah, that's what we were at at that point. Yeah, and so the next day he was doing a little better, so we decided that we'll take care of him and brought him home. And it's been tough with the keeping him crated 23 hours because he's a little fighter and wants to keep walking. Yeah, that's their treatment and, plan right now is that we're keeping him 23 hours yeah. crated. And then he's also on um, codeine and trazodone because he is such a little fighter, as you just said. Like he like literally wants to be up and moving and running and stuff like that already. And he can't. His body won't let him. And it, when you see him walking, he's got a little drunk walk. Yeah. Right now we are at <clears throat> about three weeks in. Um, three weeks yesterday, day before yesterday. Yeah, and I will put um, the clip and um, write that it was our this is the last clip that we have done for him uh, so far. But um, the progress so far has been really good. Um, I mean, I think you can hear him right now. 
We actually have him on a baby monitor right now. What? There he is. Look, look, look. He's scratching his face. It's today, gosh, it's Friday. And this happened on Sunday that he was diagnosed. So look at that progress. He's laying down. But he takes advantage of it and whines and knows we can hear him. Yeah. This one likes to go check on him over and over and over. It's because he's crying, so whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> but attention. this is where we have been, and uh, why we haven't been posting is just because it's he's on Cody and Trazodone every like eight to ten hours right now. Um, One of us is like taking turns working now. Yeah, so it, I took off like a, the first week and a half, um, so. Uh, now we're both working, trying to pick up some extra time and hours. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to let you guys know what's happening um, and um, tell you that we love you still and that we haven't left you. We just need a little bit of love and support and patience because this is something that I never thought that yeah. I would be making a video about. Like, it was random. There's nothing that, they said with IVDD that there's nothing uh, we could have done to prevent this um, besides to not let him jump off of tall furniture or stairs or um, the couch or stuff like that. Like, He's and to I'm not, okay, I guess I'll end the video. Um, but basically when we went and talked to VCA, which has been like so amazing, I just want to like say thank you so much for all the information and the time and the patience for everybody there. I know a few of you are going to be watching our videos, so hey, thank you absolutely so much for everything. I literally called them like 35 times within the first couple of days. It was like insanity. Like those who know me in real life know I love Hemi so much. He um got lost like a little while ago when I first moved to California and here's a um, picture of what the sign looked like but we plastered them all over um, Chula Vista trying to find this dog we love him so much like it's just absolutely insane so thank you VCA for helping us out and giving us all the information that we have on this condition because I when I looked up Pomeranian and I did my research when like I before I got Hemi like so that I could take care of him um, and there was nothing on IVDD I never saw any information about it so the fact that he's dealing with it is like crazy to me this just happens over time and when it happens you just have to deal with it and um, our vet said something that like you know really uh, made us feel better, which was uh, when I thanked her for everything, you know, because she's given us so much information and so much patience. Um, she said, um, don't thank me. I didn't do anything. Um, you guys did it. And, um, like, it really means a lot to have, you know, support because this is, like, really scary to have your you know, your dog not be able to walk and then you like have to maneuver him and eat yelp sometimes and it's just like insanity. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in um, and sticking around for this update. Um, and I hope that uh, you guys have a beautiful day and um, that you know that there's hope and that you take a little bit of inspiration from our little fighter, Hemi. Um, and know that he's going to be okay. So thank you so much and you guys have a great day.
Ini kau pari kami. Tunggu kau kau pari. It was actually, she's better. It wasn't she taking? Oh, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I know, let's see. <laughs> I'm okay with it. It was actually. <laughs> Hashtag wow.